Guys, and there's here back with our week number four of our double SS. Um, this is going to be a team builder as well as our battle because when I did the battle, um, I was extremely tired when I uh, when I recorded it, and I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, in the future, if you guys want me to do the team builder and a and a and a post commentary afterwards, just let me know. I, I would be more than happy to do that. While I'm done, we're just gonna head over to the team builder, go over our team, our um our team, and what we're bringing and what uh the opponent has. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below if it does help us out. I am actually recording this the same day that it's going up because I it's been a really busy weekend and a lot of things have been happening. So on that note, um, first of all, we're up against the Adelaide Agrons, which I think is right now one and one. If I recall correctly, because I know that uh, we're right now three and zero, and we, we we're trying to keep it that way. We're really trying to keep it that way, and um, and in the team prep, um, like versus the team, um, like you'll see it, like on the side, but also on um, the like, we're gonna go over it real quick. Um, he has the Mega Diancy, the Doug Trio, um, two mods that I'm really really afraid of. Uh, did the Mega Diancy not really? Since I do have the um, I do have a couple of like answers and checks to this thing, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, the Duck Trio, I have a really bad memory with the, with the Duck Trio. I know what I can do. I know how much of a, a revenge killer it is. And my cat just destroying the whole world. Oh my goodness. My cat just destroying the whole world as soon as I started to record. Um, so for the Duck Trio, I'm okay with... I... I still don't understand why this is tier 3. I really don't. But... It's very frail. But it's a huge revenge killer. We, should, we do have to play it so that we don't get um, trapped in. in. So hopefully we don't um hopefully we don't see that thing. Um the gore guys, again, um I have some real memories with that thing. The gore guys is pretty defensively uh, on the like, bulky can get on the willow, um uh, seed bomb, uh foul play, a couple of stuff, so I'm not really worried about that. Um Hitmon Lee. Huge threat to our team. Hitmon Lee can do a lot with uh with uh blaze kick, close combat, high jump kick, knockoff. Um, the fake out, um, with the, like, Umberton, super good, decent, these really good special defense, not that much help, but his defense is where it lacks, so we have to hit him in the, in, in the normal defenses. Karen Black, the big black Karen Black, um, during the IBL, uh, season one, we did have a couple of things that can check this thing, um, but, uh, Karen Black... Good thing we have the Mega Scissor because we have a chance of killing this thing. But this thing is super bulky. Uh, uh, base 125 in health. Super, super bulky. Uh, 170 in attack, which thankfully doesn't get any real, um, like, guys type, um, on a physical move. I think, um, the free shock is a two-turn move or something like that. I don't know exactly or something like that. I'm most likely wrong, but still, 120 in, in, in special attack is ridiculous. 120 in special attack is stu still really, really stupid. He's gonna hit like a truck. He and this is his, um, his AC like, captain as well, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, he can run whatever the heck he wants, um, as the sequence stuff, but, uh, Kieran Black is always gonna be a problem. Uh, the Musharna, I think that the Musharna is actually going to be good against me. Um, a calm mindset, uh, super defensively can really hurt my team. Based on a 116 in health, um, 85 in defenses, sorry, um, 85 in defense, uh, 95 in special defense, still really, really good. Uh, Snorlax, I've had this thing. Snorlax is always a bit of a problem. Um, Snorlax can be the curse lag set, um, has the figure bear. He's just really, really fat, but we do have to hit him in the defensive side to do more work. He does need, like, two curse up to be able to live a close combat from him on top, so we just have to be very, very careful with that. Um, Steelix, um, it, it, it's a defensive on um, a stealth rocker, so we just have to be careful of how we use it against them. Um, really, really bulky in the, in the defenses, but uh, besides that, he doesn't really get any recovery, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, the, the, alright, this mon, the Tox Effects, I don't think it's such a great mon, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of backlash from that. But I honestly, on the tax specs for what it does, it only does it well in a stall team, and I don't think this team is such a stall team. If you can cripple 
any super effective mons that are against the Toxapex. If you can cripple them or get out of the way, yes, it will do work. But I personally think that the Toxapex is not that great, especially in, in league format when you can predict what you guys, what your opponent's gonna bring. I think that this mon is not that great, but is really really bulky on both ends. It could be ran defensively, special defensively, scald, uh, toxic T spikes, uh, recover, uh, the painful bunker, um. I'm not missing one and and the toxic since um, with the buff that the poison type got um, they will never miss a toxic so decent mon really really decent mon um, if it gets a skull burn off uh, so be it then I can hit it in the in the defenses but the special defense is still 142 so it's still really high in in the in the defense so we just have to be careful of how we play against this thing Volcarona one of the things that I am so afraid of, because this thing, when it KOs a lot of my teams, it can, it, it gets rid of my main, of my main, uh, um, the physical hitter, and gets rid of my main, um, the special wall with a Giga Drain. After a plus one, it just kills everything. So, uh, the Volcarona is going to be su such a problem to go up against. And the Zapdos, um, I have played it against before. It does get, um, a reliable, uh, recovery, 125 in special attack. Decent in the defenses for what it does, it does best. It, it could be a wall, it could be a defogger, it could be all that. So, I like Zapdos. Again, makes sense why he's tier 1. Um, the static is always super, super scary because it's a big um, hindrance. But the fact that um, the Zapdos is also weak to rock, it's weak to rocks, and the defenses are kind of like luster. It's better as a defensive wall, probably, or especially defensive wall. Especially in this team, doesn't look like it's going to be much of a hard hitting mon but I don't know so we're gonna hop right into the team um if you guys see you can actually put gif in the background so it's right now I'm very excited about that but um um like here's the thing we have we have our mega scissor uh clamps the mega scissor um kind of rocking the same set that it um like the same EV spread as it did last week I just want to make something real quick I just make sure something real quick okay cool I just had to make sign make sure of something real quick um clamps I think is super reliable in this um in this uh, matchup because it does get rid of his uh, Diancy and uh, Diancy, Duck Trio and and the Karen Black just because um it's um a plus two BP would destroy it. a neutral BP does kill the Diancy but it does die to the Volcarona. It, it gets walled by the by the 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 um the freaking Toxapex. That's what it is. I I don't know. Why is the that name always destroys me but uh we have the bullet punch short sense knock off and roost um the roost is just for the longevity uh 248 in hp 152 in attack and 108 in special defense pretty much pretty much like last week um he's gonna hit hard and take a lot of hits that's pretty much what he's hit here for um not really much to score about clamps clamps is just there for um to be ensure like a late game sweep if, if anything if anything Baby Thor is gonna be our main uh, wall breaker, our main killer of the entire team. Uh, with the life form, he's gonna do so much work. Um, having the the bolt switch, uh, the thunderbolt, flash cannon, and hidden power rock. Um, I went with the bolt switch just because I did not think he was going to bring the steelix. If he brought the steelix, I just have to hard switch against it. I can't really do much about it. Um, this thing cannot touch the steelix, but it can touch everything else in the team. Besides the Duck Trio as well, but the Duck Trio doesn't want to take your flash cannon either way, so you have to pick your battle. You either go one way or the other. Either way, I don't want to stay in here with, um, like, uh, versus the Duck Trio because, um, he has a chance to hit me with a Stone Edge and I, I don't want to get hit by it. Plus, we're flying so we don't get trapped. So, uh, not that I know that. Um, uh, the, um, the, the, the flash cannon is for the Diancy and it's for the Diancy and the Kirum. The Hidden Power of Rock is for the Kirum and for the Volcarona. Um, it does one shot the Volcarona and it does relatively, I'll, like I think more than half, like I think it was 80% to the Kiram, um, like everything else, um, the the Volt Switch and the Thunderbolt are just for stab, um, kind of like it's, um, the Thunderbolt, it does 32% to the Zapdos and almost one shots the, the down invested on the Toxapex. So that's really good to know. Um, I just think that this thing is gonna be such a good mon to use. And mind you, I already had the battle, so I'm trying not to spoil anything. Elsa, D 
the Nine Tails, the other Nine Tails, um, show his scarf just because um, I kind of like on uh, um, like last week. Um, even at plus one, um, we want to outspeed a Volcarona on a switch in um, because uh, a a Quiver Dance is gonna be kind of hard to go up against. So and a Fire Dance just uh, kills me. So we're going up against uh, stuff that will be potentially faster than us. So we're running the Freeze Dry Moonblast, HP Rock, and uh, Aurora Veil. The HP Rock you probably won't see coming on two of our Mons, but the Volcarona is such a big threat to our team that we need to bring it. Um, if he gets a plus one off, we still outspeed, so, and, um, and the HP rock still relatively kind of kills, I think it, excuse me, it should do around, no, no, it should kill from this range, actually, it should kill from this range, let me just see real quick, let me see if I was right on, on this calc, because I know that for Elsa, the HP rock, uh, nine tails, HP rock, uh, Volcarona, Volcarona equivalent dancing set. Um, HP Rock does about 65 to 77 percent. So after Stuff Rocks, it should be about a kill. So um, it's modest too. Yep, it's modest too. So um, we're not the most offensively Elsa just because I just realized that it's only base 81 on the HP attack. But with the hail damage and if it has a life over something, we should be able to do a good amount of work against that thing. Uh, the free strike just to hit the the. The toxic packs and the moon blast just to hit um like everything else for stab and the veil if we get a chance to put up veil and leave out we can do that I'm not really um, like worried about that but we're just here to hit and leave hit and leave hipsters here for once again Cobra Berry defensive monster I, I love using hipster as a defensive monster with the stuff rocks uh the 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 um the U turn knockoff and the 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 thunder wave just because um. I want to cripple the Volcarona, I want to cripple, again, it all comes to the Volcarona, it's our number one threat in this team, the Volcarona and the Kyurem and the Diancy are the three number three biggest threat in the team, if we cripple the Hitmon lead, uh, we kind of wall it, um, with the Cold Berry, we kind of wall it, if we can cripple the Snorlax by knocking off its item, because it feels like I'm be holding a barracks, because that's more common nowadays. Um, if we can knock it off, that's cool. Um, if we can uh, paralyze it, that'll be even better. But the U-turn is just for get the switch initiative and the stuff rock we need just to again take care of the Volcarona. Uh, you're gonna be telling you, you're gonna be hearing me say on um, like on the Volcarona so many times, and it does make sense of why I say it. Uh, Pinhead Larry, um, pretty much the same setup we run each week, except with the with the toxic. We have a lot of stuff in this team that's uh, especially. Offensive, but it cannot take any grass that move and cannot take a um, It dies to the Volcarona runner 100% that's pretty much all I'm like really Larry for let it rip uh, with the AV um, defensive a um, like This is my primary check to the Kyurem because um, it'll probably run on like something like a C um, free shot and with the Intimidate, we'll be able to, to live it and kind of scare it out with a close combat. So, and his team is pretty weak to close combat except for the Diancy and the Volcarona. So, pretty decently there. But on that note, um, we're just going to hop to the match right now and see what we can do. I already have the match up, so we're just going to hop right into it. The match, I'm going to try to commentate this as much as I can, but I'm going to try to pause and try to explain as much as I can. So that it's a pretty lengthy video. Um, but he did, he did not bring the Duck Trio, he did not bring the, um, he did, he, he did not bring the Duck Trio or the, what else was there? The Duck Trio or the Steelix, so I was actually pretty happy about that, or the Girl Guys, so I was pretty happy about those choices. I, I really like his team, his team is super hyper offense with the three walls, so I'm okay with this. Um, so for the lead, I ended up leading, um, by my, uh, like my Thunder, since I did not see any ground tips, so I can just get a free Volt Switch. To anything that I did not want to stay in here against, like the Hitmonlee, I did not want to stay in here. The um, the Snorlax, I could just get a Volt Switch, free damage, and get out of there. Um, but with that, um, he ended up leaving with the Volcarona. Volcarona, I already had a plan against this. I'm like, you know what? If you stay in, if you do not think that I have a move for you and you stay in, you are gonna die. So what happens? Um, I HV Rock, very first turn. And 100% the Volcarona. Oh my goodness, I was already hyped over this. I'm like, you really stayed in against my Thunderous 
H P Rock. If you did not see that, if you did not see that H P Rock happen, I don't know what. I don't know who you are. The crit did not matter because the. Um, if I calculate correctly, the um, the like HP rock was gonna be um over. Oh, sorry, wrong wrong set. Thunderous. Baby Thor was actually going to be. It was a 103 to 122 with non invested, and Volcarona is never like it never has like these the special defense, so it was not a roll. The crit did not matter whatsoever, um, and we just destroyed that thing. But then he sends out Geo, which then I think I'm like. I will have the flash cannon for you. This is why we got the flash cannon because that was a guaranteed one. That was guaranteed even at max special defense, max HP. It was still a 100 to 103 percent. I think that the only way he could lift up was with um, was with um. I think. Wait, no, he couldn't lift that. Hold up. Um, he couldn't have lift that because I was fully invested, timid with life for. The min roll was 100%, so it was gonna do that. So he sends in um, his um, his uh, his uh, Snorlax. Um, here I'm thinking like, okay, I just need to get out of there. I need to reserve my um 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 like my thunders for the tox effect in in the back. So we just um like we got out there with the Volt Switch. We do get hit with the Life Orb a lot. He does go for a curse during that turn, but I do go for the the, the Thunder Wave after just because I do want to make sure that. He um he can have a turn of para and we knock it off with the cold berry. We were able to live a crunch, but he does get the defense drop, which sucks because that actually did matter a lot. But that means we could have actually um lived longer. But we do set up our rocks and then we go right into our um into our him on top to get rid of the stone axe. I'm surprised he kept it in. Um, but we just gonna get out of here because we do not not want to get hit by a, a high jump kick. And I did not expect that to happen. I did not count a high jump kick from the Hitmon Lee to the Gastron beforehand. I was just clicking buttons. Mind you, when we played, it was super, super late. And Pinhead Larry just dropped. Oh my goodness. Pinhead Larry just absolutely dropped. We found out that he was Life Orb, so he, there's no way he can be the good set of Hitmon Lee with, um, like with the leg on Burden. But we do predict the switch, so we go for the EQ. And the EQ doesn't do much, it means he's very defensive instead. So we go into the Elsa to get some um, like damage off on this thing. He does go for the Toxic, which was kind of predicted because I knew that it was going to do it. But I just want to see how much the free strike did. It does about 49% with the um, with the hail and the and the leftovers is still around the same uh, damage that we left them before. But the 49% is really annoying because um, we can't... We're leaving him. He's getting a little bit more each time, which is really annoying for me. So I just go into clamps since I know he's not gonna go for a stall, and then we just try to set up on him to see how much we can do with a knockoff. I was trying to get to at least plus three, plus four to be able to. If he doesn't burn me, I am going to be able to get some more um on like damage on this thing with a knockoff, which he didn't. Um, and unfortunately, he does go for haste before I can go for a knockoff, which was really dumb of me. Which I could have just gone for knockoff and then gone for roost. I would be able to lift any hit. He still doesn't get the um the burn on me. Which is super good. I'm super happy that he still didn't get the burn on me because the burns would have been super annoying. But I think he's gonna go for haze now, but he goes for scold again, unfortunately. So I do take uh, damage from the reason. And the full switch just outright kills this thing. And I'm just like, why was not expecting that? I thought we were gonna live at like zero. So we leave on like the like Elsa here to just die. Um, we do go for Moonblast and we just absolutely kill this thing. The crit did not matter because it's it's Monthly. You're not taking a a Moonblast from Elsa. So we just go for Moonblast to do more damage to the to the Thunderbird. We let this thing die. We lived at one percent. I just I don't know how that happens. We live at one percent, but the Toxic will take us out. We could have actually killed this thing, but we weren't able to. But then uh, our um our our um on um, like Thunderous just he, he cleans up the rest. He has f four kills in just this match alone. Our Thunderous has been so much work. Um, like as of late, we don't need no pranks. So he, he's just been doing so much work. So right now we're 4-0. And if you guys enjoyed this match, please make sure to leave a like down below if it does help us out. Um, we're right now 4-0, which is weird because we never been this high up. Um, like in a league before where we actually are 4-0, but this will never happen again. I'm telling you right now. Um, but uh, with the team I have, I'm very confident that we're gonna be able to do well for the rest of the season. Hopefully we do well. I'm off to just. I just ruined them for myself. Um, but again, guys, hi, Pooter. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below if it does help us out. And we're going to get the heck out of here, guys.
this was our week four for our double SS. On that note, I'm gonna get the heck out of here, guys. Have yourself a fantastic day. If you guys want me to do more like these, where I can, if not, I would do them how we normally were doing them. But I had no time this week to be able to record 18 prep and and the battle. So on that note, have yourself a great day. Stay nerdy, stay awesome, and we'll catch you guys next week for our week number five, which should be a bit of a doozy since I saw uh, the matchup. It was not gonna be easy. On that note, have yourself a great day. And bye. Bye.